No way, so that's got the... Hi folks, we're at our workshop. I thought I would give you a tour of a 2003 model Rest of the World Spec Defender that has lived all of its life in Africa. So it may be quite interesting to you to see what kind of stuff comes up when a vehicle lives all of its life. It's probably been here 16 years or so and it's got 340,000 kilometres on it. It's like just over 200,000 miles. So you can see kind of stuff that, uh, that affects these vehicles when they operate in, um, in these kind of environments and live a hard life. Um, so I'm going to take you around the vehicle and we're just going to see some of the shit that goes down. Really, this is a fleet vehicle so it gets lots of different drivers and it, has to, it works for a living. So it's obviously a lot different than what we have in the UK It's um, uh, in terms of climate, the, the job it's asked to do. So let's get on to it. So, naturally you get battle scars, and it makes you wonder about what went on here. So, I don't know if this is what this is abrasion from, whether this vehicle's been on its side at some point or leaned up against a tree, but you can see the spot welds. The spot welds have popped out on here. They've just come loose on the skin here. This is all a bit loose. The exhaust pipe is pointing in a completely different direction. They're normally kind of out here. Um, a lot of the paintwork is abraded, but you don't get the corrosion, you just do not get the corrosion. This one's reversed into something and dented the rear cross member, but that is the original paint. It's the original paint, and this is the, th this is the thing that I cannot get over. I put on a rear cross member and it, in the UK and it rusts, starts rusting like orangey, powdery rust within three days. This has got no paintwork on it, and this, it's rusty, but like, that's not corrosion, that's just, like, metal. Why is, why does my Defender not do this in the UK? Why does this? The paintwork comes off, but it stays, it, it doesn't corrode, what's going on here? This is the thing, like, and under here, um, this door's a bit battered, um, completely on here the paintwork and stuff but like why is it not corroding buggery I mean you're gonna say the climate it, yeah it totally is the climate but like I don't know what's going on here like in terms of why things can have the paint roughed off rubbed off in this climate and it just doesn't corrode you get this really unique kind of rust in other environments where defenders just last forever because of they just don't rot to buggery I cannot get my head around it Ah, anyway, uh, rear wiper, lost the door card on the inside there, heated window, naturally, windows, bit of a rattle on there, lost a lot of paper cup here, and uh, these roof racks, you know, going a bit rusty. I don't know what model these are. They may be the brown church roof racks that aren't the heavy duty versions. There we go. So this has had the half shaft replaced with the, the kind of 2015 model on on year. Um, it's got tubed tyres. It's the tube tyre. You can tell from on here. 5.5 F. F is tubed. J is tubeless. Um, this one's got what are these? Dunlop SP qualifier. Steel belted radial. These would have been replaced. The tread's not amazing. It's more like um, it's more closer to an Avon Range Master, but it's 7.5 R16. Any other information on it? 8 PR, 8 ply. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. Um, underneath, get the torch out. Naturally, mud gets caked up. This is pretty common I've seen on Defenders in Africa. They don't get washed that much and they don't really corrode but they just get filled with mud. We've got a bit of wire there for some reason it's fallen down. Um, yeah they just get kind of covered in mud but then it doesn't need to be washed off because it's so such dry dry climate but it's got the you know the paint still got the paint wire underneath. Some kind of leak in the fuel tank there. Um, oh what's that? Oh, that's the old breather. The old breather pipe snapped off, and where does that? I think that's been pushed in round behind. That's completely snapped. So the breather pipe's 
disintegrated. Brake pipes have been replaced or knocked off or something, but they are clipped on, but they're a bit, a bit kind of wonky in there. Still got the backing plate on the brake disc. Springs look good. Oh, this one had helper springs because it's got the, the cup in the bottom there. See the cup in the bottom, but they've been taken out. Shock absorbers. At least the washers have been put on the right way around. Bit of a dent here. On there. A bit of corrosion. Yeah, it's just that day. Oh look, stick insect. <laughs> Never seen one of those on a Defender before. There we go, this has had a lot of stuff bolted onto it, so it's got drill holes in here. Now these on the sea post, these normally pop out. I've seen this in a lot of vehicles and some of the other ones here and uh, in some other countries as well. These tend to pop out just because the vibration between the sea post and the and the pillar can, can over all these out. And similarly, some of these, I might put a clip on the screen of another, um, another one uh, that I saw in a different African country. A few dents in here, it's classic when you're slamming the door, these go in. A bit rattly on the door there. Uh, kind of a bent in seal channel a bit. These plastic, plastic bits not fitting in. Let's feel the door action. So there we go. Door card's naturally coming off. Seal's still on there. Tiny bit of corrosion. Not a whole lot, but the door cards are popping out, naturally. Full of, uh, full of dust and dirt. It's still got the original sticker on it for the, the child lock. You can see in there. Get this kind of wear on here. This is basically where the, the door rubs on over here, it wears off the paintwork. And there, even the door seal, you can see the door seal is worn down to metal because of the vibration. This is, I've seen this in, um, in the rental defender in South Africa as well. The doors, oh, all the door locks are missing in all of these vehicles I've seen here. And over there, they're just completely missing. The seats don't do well, but uh, this is a replacement seat in it. The, um, Oh, that's not good. So it's got the, you can just see in there, that's the seat belt been trapped. That's why you have this clip here on defenders, but naturally, if you want to use it, then you're going to have a problem there. So floor matting's long gone, all worn away here, but covered in sand. These are original bolts because they've got the kind of goldy feel on. This is the interesting thing that you don't get on. Um, replacement like YRM things. This is here for um, if you've got electric windows and uh, the YRM B post uh, don't come with this hole but this one doesn't have it. But we've got the wiring there for the, uh, the door. What else have we got in here? So no corrosion in the seat box really. Still got the original sticker on there for the jack. But uh, fire extinguishers are bolted down. Put a gap in there, you would have a bit of like foam stuff in here from the factory. That's obviously gone somewhere. But look, original four screws. It's crazy. Well, those ones aren't, those are bolts that have been put in. But um, there's quite a few missing down there actually. These ones are all missing. Sorry, that's not original. No, this is original. But it's, so yeah, it's not had the original bolts put back in. And it's got the later, uh, these are the ones I've bought uh, recently to fit on mine. It's got the stud on here and the matting's all just completely ripped off. Door cards again. Well, there's no corrosion. Up in there. These mats don't last. Similarly here, that's completely gone because it's a hot climate. Rubber doesn't last well. Knobs have come off. 
seat is completely trashed. And there, you get this wear on the doors. You see the notch cut in there? Well, here. It's completely wear out from the rattling. Dust ingrained into everywhere. Handbrake looks like it needs adjusting. Missing vent. Kind of stuff. Steering wheel here is pretty old and worn. But that's common in the UK. Oh, this is the annoying bit. When the rubber detaches from the metal underneath and it twists, you can twist the. That's annoying when that happens. Binnacle's shattered off. See the leg, uh, the, the tab there's snapped. <laughs> the dust, the dust is unavoidable. Completely unavoidable. Radio mounting snapped off completely, or in this case it would have been probably the, the pouch in there. This gear knob is about to come off. Uh, ooh, that transfer big gearbox is like stirring porridge on there. Got a different seat. This may have been the original seat because you did get the rest of those bed of vendors with them. Uh, is it rally cloth? I'm not sure. And then this one's come with seatbelt brackets have broken a bit. It's come with um, the middle seat. Headlining. Pretty grim. That's the way it is. Just gets. <laughs> it's dust, dust really, that um, just accumulates inside the vehicle because the door seals aren't great. Headlining's a bit broken up here. Uh, clips, these plastic bits have popped out on the trim retaining. Because uh, this rest of us, but it doesn't have the alarm module. Well, these are good, they stay up. The ones are made in Belize, these kept used to you go over rough ground and they wobble down, and it's annoying as hell. Dash has been splitting. In there, a replacement bolt, but no corrosion whatsoever. So this had aircon because it's been removed on the front, so it's still got the blower, the evaporator inside. It's still got the the dryer module I saw down just on the chassis right here. But the front panel's been replaced, and the condenser's been removed. Intercooler fins, pretty decent, and the radiator. Out there. The other side repeat is missing. Still see the chassis number. It's missing a bolt out here. It's not ideal, missing the dust cap. The tyres are in good condition. Underneath. See in this one we've got quite a crack in the windscreen. There. It's been hit, it looks like it's been hit by a rock or something. Doors are all trashed. Look under here. No way, so that's got the pattern. That, look at that. It's got like a, a Land Rover oval worn into it, and it's got the pattern of that worn into the aluminium. That is, cr that is crazy. That is crazy. I don't really bums have sat on this. Roof is absolutely shattered. There's a child's shoe on the roof. Right, 
damage underneath. A bit of wear on here from a thousand feet getting in and out. More of the same. There's less damage on this side. It looks like it's had a respray and the that paint's coming off. Oh yeah, here we go. Rivets on the sea post. Completely gone. So that was the life that a defender leads in Africa over 300,000 kilometres in over 15 years. Let me know in the comments what you think of the state of this vehicle. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.